Nasty Nestor, Nestor Cortez, is being attacked by the mob. Well, not really. Just a couple of dweebs online. New York Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Nestor Cortez is being attacked by the Twitter mob. So much so that he had to deactivate Twitter. But when you really look at it, it's not a lot of people <laughs> that are attacking him. It's these echo chambers that grab stuff on Twitter and somehow make it political. Or, you know, they just want clicks. As they say in the South Bronx, suck my <laughs> Nestor Cortez does not need to apologize for the culture that he grew up in. So the people that are calling... Cortez racist when he said the n-word with a ga at the end like 99% of youths in areas that Nestor Cortez grew up in he's from Hialeah it's like coming from the South Bronx Washington Heights Lower East Side Spanish Harlem Harlem and it's tweets from rap lyrics it's tweets how they talk where like I said where he grew up in also, where he was currently in at the time, because these tweets are about 8 years old. He was about 17, 19, whatever. So the little dweeb that made this an issue on Twitter, which is a sock account, somebody's burner account, was echoed and talked about on the Michael K show. Sports journalists are saying Nestor Cortez needs to apologize for using lingo that they use in the hood. I guess they're going to have to cancel all of us. They're going to have to cancel all the Dominicans, the Cubans, the Puerto Ricans, who, might I add, have Afro-Caribbean roots. See, you could probably make the case for somebody from Argentina or something. But we're talking about a Cuban in Nestor Cortez. Here, let's use Oraldus Chapman as an example. Because the same people that are calling Nestor Cortez racist are the racist themselves. You see, Latinos specifically, let's use C Cuba as an example. Orondas Chapman, Cuban. Obviously, he's darker than Nestor Cortez. Let's say when he was 17, 19, whatever age Nestor Cortez said or spoke like everybody in his neighborhood spoke. Let's say it was Orondas Chapman. These same people would say, oh, he gets a pass. He's Latino, but he gets a pass because he's darker skin. So the people saying, this person is racist. This Latino is racist. Growing up with black people and other Latinos. Like I said, uh, Latinos of African descent as well. Look, the fact of the matter is, that's how we talk in the hood. I was born and raised in Washington Heights. That's how we spoke growing up. And if you didn't speak like that, you were probably considered a nerd and was picked on. Something had to be wrong with you if you didn't speak like that. To make a long story put short. I'm not saying if you're a grown-ass man, you should be saying that word. Great for Nesta Cortez. He's saying, I want to be a great influence to the youth. You know, it's like when you're 15 years old and, you know, a white person says, Oh, look at these hoodlums using that word. Then you have to say... It's, it's like saying, dude, this is what we're being brought back to again. It's something that shouldn't have been an issue. It's somebody that was bored. If you ask me, they're from the suburbs, have never stepped foot in a neighborhood like Nestor Cortez grew up in, has never stepped into the real South Bronx. They must be morons if they don't know how people from those neighborhoods talk. So no, Nestor Cortez, you do not need to apologize for the culture that you grew up in. Matter of fact, you should be proud of the culture you grew up in. You should be proud of being a person of color. You should be proud. Don't apologize for what young you did. Because 99% of the youths in these areas speak the same way. And are going to continue to speak the same way. Because this topic is a very old topic. Anybody with a brain knows that Nestor Cortez was not being racist. Get the f out of here with that nonsense. And to the media echoing this nonsense, this is how I know it was a burner account. 
that made it an issue, you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Because what you're saying is, I'm not from your culture. I don't know anything about your culture. Yeah, you people sound dumb. Before it hits the front page.